Hey everybody, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Today I'm here with Dan Priest and it's our insurance talk with Priest Insurance. Um, you know, typically we usually don't know what we're gonna talk about till we sat down, but you made a comment to me when we were getting ready. You said, let's talk about the insurance uh, premiums and rates. Just the marketplace. The market yeah. in general, because you're seeing a change. I am, so everybody that's watching this and everybody you know, us included, have seen nothing but a pretty steep rise in, in, in insurance rates over the past three or four years. It's building costs have gone up, just the rate has gone up, and we've all- I've heard, never seen them go down. I don't think. <laughs> interesting you say that. Um, you know, we've all heard for reason to reinsurance, you talked with Chandra about that, mm -hmm. whether it's inflationary costs, losses, cat catastrophes. Building costs. Building costs, uh, cost to replace a car. It's all pushed rates forward. Right. At, 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 a, at the biggest rate I've ever seen in 25 years. Um, I'm seeing a change. And so I, I think that market is, is kind of leveling off a little bit. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, on September 15th, I'm seeing the first rate decrease I have seen in a long time. Yeah, it's not <laughs> a lot. It's not I a lot. I might need to take some glycerin for that one. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm seeing in, in one of the auto carriers uh, about a three or 4% rate, rate decrease, which is a good thing if you've been in the auto markets, those uh, right. rates have really increased as well as the homeowner's rates. Homeowner's rates are kind of leavening a little bit as well. There's still um, some issue with underwriting. Underwriting from, from carriers is still very, very strict. We're seeing a lot of restrictions on high value homes. Uh, certain areas, uh, carriers won't do business without multiple lines of business. They won't carry a, uh, what is called a monoline home policy, mm -hmm. just, just a home without another supporting line of business with it. So there's still a lot of that going on, but um, ab avoiding any major issues over the next over the next 12 months, I would assume uh, that we'll start to see some of the markets maybe open back up. When you say open back up, does that mean some insurance people that typically don't write in the coastal area may come back? It could, it, it, it could mean that. You know, the beginning of the year is coming up and there'll be, there'll be a new round of money that's available um, for some of the reinsurance companies, that may 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 broaden some appeal okay. uh, down here. You never you never know with that, but it's it's I do see a change. Okay, and you just can kind of you know sometimes you can just kind of feel it happening, and and I, I can feel it happening. Plus some of the absolutes, such as a rate decrease, such as uh, we had in in Houston, mm -hmm. we uh, we had information about a, another carrier coming into that market. Another market that's really that's been really really tough has been something like a mobile home, mm -hmm. and uh, we got an email the other day about someone opening up those markets. So it's just kind of some tricklings that I'm beginning to see that that could be good news on the consumer when it gets down to the consumer that maybe it'll, it'll get a little bit easier in the year ahead. What about business? Mm -hmm. You know, you were talking about it maybe get easier on consumer. What about business insurance and, and insurance for like my truck? Do you ever see that go down or, that's, that's, or is that all that, together? That's kind of all in the same thing. Yeah, um, commercial insurance is, is, underwriting is still very tight on that. If it's the longer lead time that mm -hmm. we have to, to shop a commercial policy, the better it is because they're, they're actually, every company, for example, Zurich, has different levels of, of carriers. Right. And if you have more time to examine the risk and look forward, you become more eligible for a better carrier. If we have a commercial policy that shows up that's renewing in a week, well, right. they're gonna go to the base carrier because a, 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 a commercial underwriter is gonna look at loss history, which so you need to have loss runs on that, continuity of coverage. There's a lot of things that go, that go into a commercial rate. So yes, the more time you give someone look at a commercial policy, the better it is. Uh, the same thing does hold true with commercial auto as okay. well. The same thing is okay. like a personal auto market. Great, great. Well, if people want to get hold of you, and, and we talk about this every show, mm -hmm. it's sort of like going to the doctor for your history, I mean, <laughs> for your physical once a year. Yeah. You really need to go over your insurance policy once a year, whether it's your home, your auto, your business. Um, and talk to your insurance agent or feel free to give Priest Insurance Agency a call. Uh, they've got ties to the coastal area, the office in Lumberton, Texas, but they do a lot of business here on Bolivar. 
Um, and you do it whether it's golf cart or vacation is, yeah. rentals, business, everything down mm -hmm. here. And so make sure you look them up online at www.priestinsuranceagency.com. Um, and if you use them, one thing we're going to start pushing is, and you're happy with them, give them a review on Google. Absolutely. You know, that, hel that helps everyone. So, Dan, thanks for joining us. Uh, we dodged another one. We did. Knock on wood. Yep. <laughs> Knock on wood. Uh, for more information on Priest in Insurance uh, and the, the lines they carry and how they can help you, please visit their website. So we're going to head on out. Until next time, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless and bye-bye.